welcome back to episode four of On The Couch. My name's Brooke Roberts and I'll be taking over hosting for Liam this week, interviewing another Liam, Liam Welby, our championship bull rider. So let's hit the couch. Your story, our story, on the couch. Hello everyone and welcome back to On The Couch. Today our special guest is Liam Welby. Thanks for coming along, Liam. Thank you for having me. Yeah, sweet. So today we're going to be asking you a few questions about your rodeo career. He's our rodeo star from Southern Cross and um, yeah, so how about we just get started, yeah? Yeah. So first of all, can you tell us what event you primarily compete in? Um, I mainly compete in the junior bull ride. Yeah. So just like bull riding, that's, do you do any other sort of events as well or is it just bull riding? No, I ride um, junior saddle bump, which is bucking and horses and I oh. ride road calves and that too, so. Sweet. And how did it all sort of begin or kick off for you? Um, when I was about 12, I had a few mates riding steers and my cousin was riding junior bulls and family was rodeo and just decided to get on one and sort of go in the family footsteps and went yeah. from there. So it was kind of like a family influence going into that and just saw your friends doing it, so. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's like, get on a bull. Yeah. As you do. <laughs> so how long have you been competing at rodeos? Um, well, I got on, went to my first one when I was about 12 and then I got hurt and had that knee surgery, so I missed out oh. for a year. And then when I was 14, I had my full first season and just had it stop. So did the injury kind of like stop you for a while and yeah, you weren't and able to actually compete in the rodeos? Yeah, I had to sit out for nine months, which was most of 2016, oh. so from March yep. onwards. Oh. And how many of these rodeos are you doing on average a year? I know you're a lot more into it now that you're a lot older, so how many are you doing? Oh, anywhere between 20 to 30, I'd say, that's a rough guess. Yeah, yeah. Do you travel much for them? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're all kind yeah. of around Queensland, around, or do you go to other... Around North Queensland. Yeah. And yeah, sweet. So, I heard that you're going overseas to represent Australia for bull riding, which is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. So, how did you score that opportunity? Um, well, I just guess I was just riding and been riding good, and the people that were picking the teams just decided that they wanted me to ride for the team, so I was yep. pretty, pretty fortunate. That's awesome. And um, when are you going overseas, and where are you going? I'm going to Las Vegas, and I'll leave here on the 2nd and compete on the 4th to the 7th, and then the 8th if I make the short round. Of um, what month? December. Uh, December, awesome. So not far away. No. Got to save up for that one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, yeah, what will you be doing over there? Like, is there a specific event you're going for, or you're just going to like check it out? So yeah, what are you doing over there? I'm going over to ride Super Seniors, they call it, which is yeah. like our junior bulls. So yeah. So are there like multiple different like rodeos you're going to, or is it just like the main no, one? Just to the World Finals. Oh yep. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> And um, how often are you training for these events? I mean, representing Australia overseas, that's pretty big. You must be, you know, pretty into it and having to train a fair bit. But yeah, how do you train for something like that? Oh, well, we have horses and that, and I just ride off horses as much as I yeah. can, especially bareback, and then just get on practice balls whenever I feel like I need to. But other than that, just rock up to the rodeo, feel fresh, and go at it. <laughs> well, there you go. So do you own horses and bulls that you can practice on or do you have to like go somewhere? So? I don't own any bulls, but we have three horses that I can ride and that. And I just go to my good mates and charters and get on a few practice yeah. bulls. Oh, well, there you go. So it sounds like you are very committed to it all and you've got some amazing opportunities up your sleeve. So do you plan on doing this as something as a full-time career once you leave school or? Oh yeah, I'd like to yeah. be over in America riding against yeah. the best on the PBR over there, yeah. hopefully. So hopefully I can make a career out of it if I just keep trying and putting the hard yards in. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And being so heavily involved in this whole rodeo, going away most weekends, how do you cope with the high demand of schoolwork, especially since we're in the like second half of our senior schooling? It's pretty getting pretty hectic. So, how do you cope with all of that? I'll just try to make use of most of my classes when I'm here in the time and work hard as much as I can. So, yeah. So, this is the last question I've got for you. What would you say has been the highlight of your career so far? The best moment? Oh, I've had a few, but I'd probably have to say one of the top two would be winning the Mount Isa Junior Bull Ride this year and probably competing in the State of Origin at Mariba for Queensland two years in a row now, so that'd probably be my top two. That is awesome. And how many events have you sort of like won or placed in? Oh, a fair few, but fair I don't few. really take, yeah. take count. So. And you get like prize money for that as well? Yeah, we get prize money and buckles at the end of the year for like whoever yeah. wins the title and that, and ribbons and that, so yeah. yeah. 
Sounds awesome. So that's all for the questions. Thanks for answering those ones, Liam. You got some great answers. So before we jump into the quiz, we do have a couple of videos I see here of you actually bull riding. So let's have a look at these and we'll see what you do. So what goes through your head while you're sitting in the cage and jumping out? Um, I don't know, I guess I just try and stay as calm as possible. Just keep my hand closed until I hear the buzzer. I don't know, that's sort of order. So once that like eight second buzzer goes off, you can just jump off? Or? Yeah, yeah. I try to hold on for a few more yeah. seconds so I get a Gosh, good dismount don't and don't get hurt. So. Yeah, have you ever been like trampled by any of them once you've jumped off? Or? No, not really. been no. kicked a few times, horned in the horn, oh, and butted a couple of times, but nothing major. Those mechanical bucking bulls, I can't even get on them, okay? So I don't <laughs> know why or how you do this. That's very impressive. <laughs> So we're going to jump into a quiz now. Um, I've got a few questions and look, I didn't even know the answer to these, so I'm hoping you do. <laughs> anyway, so let's just jump into it, hey? So the first question. I'm sure everyone's mum cried for weeks after hearing the news of actor Luke Perry's passing. One of his most memorable roles was in the movie Eight Seconds, a film about an American rodeo star's bull riding career. Now, what was the name of the character in the movie? Um, Wayne Frost. He knows it. I haven't even seen the movie, but my mum just rages on about it, and I'm glad you have. And yes, it is Lane Frost. So, next question, which is another movie question. The Netflix film based on a true story, Walk, Ride, Rodeo, is about a championship barrel racer from California who had a car accident crushing her T12 vertebrae, leaving her paralysed from the waist down. After a year and a half's worth of physical therapy and a modified saddle, she was back competing once again. Do you know what her name is? I don't know her name, but I do know who it is. So just... Have you seen the movie? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool movie. I just watched it the other day. It's Amber Lee Snyder, and it is a true story. She actually was paralysed and got back into competing, which I think is crazy to be able to go through an injury like that. Like, that is crazy how you guys just, like, you did something to your knee and you were back up on the ball anyways. <laughs> just a mental game. <laughs> Look, if it happened to me, I would have been like, that's it. That's enough. <laughs> I'm not writing it again. So the last question I've got here, um, I'm hoping you know, I'm pretty sure you'll know the answer to this because I didn't. Anyways, the score given when bull riding is based only on how long the rider stays on. Is this true or false? Yeah, you got to make the full eight seconds to be able to get a score. Yep. And I also had here that the score is based on how hard the bull is to ride. Is that true? Yeah, how, how hard the bull's bucking and how neat you ride it. And if you're in total control, and they, each judge gets 50 points for the rider and bull and it just goes... So even if you like fell off at two seconds or something, but your ball was really hard to ride, would you get more points than someone who rode an easy ball and did like seven seconds? No, I wouldn't get nothing because I didn't make eight seconds, but the ball would still get marked on how hard they buck. Okay. But for us to get a score, we got to ride for the four eight seconds. Ah, oh, yep, I see. Well, there you go. I'm even learning. Well, thank you for that. That's all I've got for the quiz. But um, yeah, so we've got another video here that we're going to take a look at. This is yeah. going to scare me because <laughs> I don't know how you're doing this. So let's have another look at this one. So do you just kind of get in the zone when you're sitting in there? Like, oh, it's just all like mental You're like shaking from no, being yeah, nervous? Try and stay as calm as we can and breathe. I'd fall off from shaking. So <laughs> that is just crazy. Oh my. Does that, does that hurt? Nah. Falling off it? It doesn't. Not that way. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. Nah. Do you ever like get bucked off when you fall on your oh, back and you get, get winded? You get slammed or head oh, first gosh. or buried or... That is so crazy. You, <laughs> you are crazy, okay? That is insane. Well, thank you so much for coming along and joining us on the couch. As you've seen, he does some pretty crazy stuff and I mean, this is just incredible what you do and now you're representing Australia overseas which I think is an amazing opportunity and that is just crazy that you are being able to go overseas to do what you love and I really wish you all the best in the future following this through as a full-time career. I think you're going to do great by the looks of it. So thanks for coming along. Thank you. Ouch.